Welcome back to Sous Everything guys. Today, flat iron steak. I saw it on the supermarket. You guys have been asking for it and it's time. Let's do it. As you can see, these steaks came almost perfectly clean. However, the butcher left some silver skin on and I decided to take it off. This is a meat tenderizer called Jacquard. It has a bunch of little blades to tenderize the meat. Today we're gonna be trying it out to see if there's any difference making it more tender doing it sous vide. So let's do it. To make sure there's no difference between meats, I'm gonna use the same exact meat and here I'm doing a cut so that I can separate it from the Jacquard side and the regular steak. I'm keeping the seasoning simple with just salt, pepper and garlic powder. I'm cooking these flat iron steaks at 135 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. Guys, they smell absolutely fantastic. And like always, I'm gonna pat these baby dry and we are going to go outside and sear them. Today, Ninja had a hot date. What happened with the Ninja today, Mama? He abandoned us. He abandoned us. He had a hot date with his wife. He's gonna go with a nice lunch and he went to do something else too. What did he want to do, Mama? <laughs> Mattress shopping for after the hot date. Mattress shopping? <laughs> He went mattress shopping. So today is me, my mom, and other people here in the office. I'm gonna pat this baby dry and we're gonna go out and sear them. I know they don't look good right now, but watch this. These look amazing. <laughs> that was my impression of the ninja. Today, there is no ninja. As I said, he's in a hot date. Make sure you comment below. Let's see what happens on his date. Mama, go for that one first. Tell me how you like it. Tell me the taste. How is it? I want to know. Flat iron steak, Mama. That's pretty good. It's nice and tender. It's a nice tender steak. Mm -hmm. Juicy. I don't it's know juicy. I put... Yeah. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm surprised how juicy it is. It's very juicy, Mama. You're totally right. Let's go for this one before, Mama. And then we'll go for this one. Try that one. How's this one? Mmm. This one is tougher. Mm -hmm. This one is definitely tougher, my mouth. It still tastes amazing. I think the flavor is it the same. Good. But you say this one is tender? This one is definitely tender than that one. It's good though. It, huh? It's really good, yeah. Right now, my mouth, this one is a lot tender, right? Yes. Than this one. Now, this steak, there was something happening, and this steak right here. Is the same steak, so we're gonna compare this one and this one. Let's try that one. Try this one and tell me. Mmm. It's pretty delicious, it's pretty tender. Mm-hmm. Mm. Which one is more tender, my mouth? Whatever you did on this, they're definitely more tender than the whole steak over there. Oh yeah. This steak is a lot more tender than this steak. So I'm glad that I used the same steak as a comparison. Yeah. Right? Yes. If I would have used different steak, we have different results, but because I use the same steak, different. So in your opinion, which one is more tender? This, this one, one or this one? This one is more tender. Yes. I have to agree with Mama as well. Even though he tried to eat all the steaks, I think he was just making excuses. I that... have to be sure. I don't, don't want to give you guys wrong information. <laughs> guys, making it uh, using the tenderizer, it actually does help. Uh, it doesn't help tremendously, right Mama? But it helps a little bit. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make a humongous difference, 
but it makes a good difference that is noticeable. Agree? It's not gonna make your steak taste different. Nope. But it's gonna make it feel different when once you put it on your mouth. It is more tender. Not much more tender, but it is tender. Mm -hmm. And this is the flat iron steak, guys. We really enjoy it. It was really fantastic. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. The flat iron steak is a fantastic steak. I like it more than the flat meat and the skirt steak. It is a good meat. Do you agree, Mama? Yes. Definitely. It's very good. And it's a lot more fattier than I expected. It looked it kind of yeah. dry, but it's much it looked, more fattier. It, it cooked and it looked a lot fattier than the skirt steak and the other ones that I can remember. When me and Mama were searing outside, as you could, as you saw it there, it was very, very uh, oily. Up. Yeah, it was oil directly from the steak, so it's a fantastic steak. Give it a go. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe for future videos. And remember, if you're interested in any of the equipment I use, everything is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.